your SP is with you now. Hi, I am your host, Piper Sky Cheyenne, and welcome back to Rebuild Reality, where we talk about who we really are, why we're here, and how all of this stuff works. So there's probably more than a few of you out there who are like, what are you talking about? My SP is not with me right now. And I totally get that because this is the current reality that you're in that you want to shift and you're wondering how to do that. Well, first of all, when we understand that everything is consciousness, that we are made of consciousness and that's it. What we are is we are infinite non-physical beings here playing with matter and that there are infinite numbers of this earth with you on it taking place right now. And there are versions of these earths where you are not with your SP and there are versions where you are with your SP. Now, how do we shift from one version to another? Well, we do that with our focus, with our beliefs. This is the steering wheel that takes us from one version of reality to another. But we keep getting pulled back in to our reality that we're experiencing right now, the one that we want to change, the one that we want to leave, because we keep focusing on it. I mean, maybe we're like, okay, I'm going to try this new manifestation technique. And then after 24 hours, we're like, well, that didn't work. You know, because a lot of this is that we're really... Um, so used to instant gratification now. We've been rewired that way, which this isn't the way it used to be at all. You go back 25 years or more, it wasn't like that in people's minds. Now people just give up easily. Whereas before they were like, they had an idea and they saw it out to the end. And this is what we have to do with this. We have to understand that our beliefs and our focus are the steering wheel that's taking us one way or the other. So it's when we have that conviction, that confidence, that we decree it as this is going to be mine and that's just the way it is. And we stay true to it. We believe in ourselves. We believe in what we can do. We stop listening to that, that, you know, is the one that's always like after a few hours or a day or a couple of days it's like yeah that isn't happening you know on to something else click 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 right you know what's the next thing what's the next thing what's the next thing we're always going to the next thing instead of giving the one thing we should do a chance and whether that takes hours whether that takes days weeks or even months we need to stay true to it because if we don't have that conviction that that's the way it is, I have to believe in my version of reality and my reality in my head more than the reality that's appearing to me right now. And this is the whole thing about creation, about manifestation, about all of it, not only for your SP, but for everything. That's how we shift is by the belief in ourselves, And that's why there's things in the, like in the Bible is it's all about your belief, your faith, your ability to stay true to your version of things that brings those versions to life. Because whatever we're focusing on is exactly like putting a big spotlight. So whatever you're putting a big spotlight on, reality is this going, that's your reality. Okay, that's going to be true for you because that's what you keep looking at. So when we keep looking at the idea that they're not here and I wish they were here and when will they be here? All of that creates them not being here. <laughs> so we have to be where we're living in the world where we're even, we're talking to them. You know, we're like, hey, babe, would you get me a glass of water? Hey, babe, I love you. You know, I love you. You know, and thank you so much for, you know, what you did today for the flowers. You got me. I really love them. I mean, you literally, like a little kid, live in this reality in your head. You know, and as silly as it would seem to some, well, your imagination is the only true reality out there. And people, if you look up in the dictionary, you know, um, imagination. 
Well, we've been, we've come to the belief that imagination means something that's not true, something that is not real. You just imagined it. You're just pretending. You're not being real. You're just being a child. You're being delusional, you know, but this is the mechanism that changes you from one reality to another. This is the mechanism that creates worlds is your imagination. The imagination is what everything is made out of. This is what God is. God is conscious awareness that is able to imagine things into reality. And because you are an expression of God, you are a piece of God that's pretending to be separate from God, which is why all of us, all of us have that feeling within us all the time that's like, there's something missing. Why do I not feel right? Why does it kind of like, mm, 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 I don't quite feel loved. I don't really quite feel safe. I don't feel like I'm with this thing. I don't even know what it is that I'm supposed to be with. Well, that's what it is. That's the feeling of separation, but it's not true. It's not really real, but we just have that experience in our imagination because that's what's been created here in order for parts of God to have the experience of separation of the experience because you couldn't experience things like love. If there wasn't two of you, you could be love, but you couldn't experience it. And this is the whole idea of creation, of the creation of matter <clears throat> and the creation of worlds is so we can, <clears throat> excuse me, have these experiences. So it's an understanding this kind of groundwork of things that we are able to believe in these things and have more confidence in them if we know what the heck is going on here, right? <laughs> because let's face it, we didn't come with an instruction manual. So we want to make sure that our focus is direct, that we are confident in it, that we're like, no, I'm having it. I am making a decree. I am making an announcement. I am making a declaration that that is my reality because that belongs to me. And there are, because there are infinite versions of everything, it's not like you're forcing that version that maybe was the SP that you're not with anymore to be back with you. You're not asking, you're not calling them back. You're calling the version of them back, you know, to you. You're shifting to meet that version of them that is the version that you want, is a successful version of your relationship. So we want to drive ourselves to that destination because otherwise what keeps happening is we're like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And we leave the house and we get in our car and we start driving, but we give up. And the next thing we know, we start thinking about the, you know, oh, it's not true. And this is the only reality, the one I'm in now. And they're not really here. And next thing we know, we're back in our driveway. And all we did was drive around the block. So it's no wonder we're not at a different destination if we keep thinking about the old one we'll just automatically subconsciously drive ourselves right back to that house again and we don't want to do that so believe in yourself understand these building blocks these important <laughs> things about reality and how it works and then you can get there then you've got the instruction manual you've got the map that gets you from your old destination where you are now to the new reality, the new destination you really want to be living at. So I hope that helps you. And I am of course your host, Piper Sky Shan, and welcome back. I'm glad to have you guys here. You know, it's cool. <laughs> I know I say that a lot of times, but it is, it's a lot of fun. And I'm glad that you guys are here. And I'm glad that so many of you are getting a lot out of this um, because that's why I'm doing it, you know, to help everyone that I can. So um, thank you for subscribing if you have already subscribed. And if you haven't, I hope that possibly you will, that you would like to come back here again and hang out with me. And um, like and share and comment. And I'll see you next time here.